I just now made a comment elsewhere that I'll here propose as the true recognize and resist position that the SSPX and its allies should adopt immediately. I recognize that as a non-Catholic and indeed rabid anti-Catholic, Francis cannot possibly be an actual pope, since actual popes must be actually Catholic. One cannot be the head of a body of which one is not a member. I further recognize that he's not just a bad father. One must first be an actual father to be a bad father. But Francis has never been an actual spiritual father at all. His status as an impostor has nothing to do with any electoral irregularities or any attempted bifurcation of Benedict XVI's papacy in 2013. Francis isn't a father, isn't a pope, solely because he isn't a Catholic. And he wasn't a Catholic long before 2013. Only actual Catholics can become actual popes. Just as only actual Catholics can be popes, only actual Catholics can become popes. I also recognize that since we're divinely promised that the gates of hell shall not prevail over the actual Catholic Church, the entity now led by Pope Francis cannot possibly be the actual Catholic Church, since hell has clearly prevailed over it. Finally, I recognize that it takes absolutely no legal authority whatsoever to recognize all of this manifest reality, just as one need not be a coroner to recognize a dead body. Our minds were made for truth. It's permissible and indeed good for us to recognize the truth. Comfort is irrelevant. Any future legal judgment by the actual Catholic Church, which is now in the catacombs once again, will simply be a recognition of the present factual reality, spitting in our faces daily. It's time to get real. Really real. Oh, it surely is. Every time that one refers to the diabolical Francis as an actual pope and to the entity that he leads as the actual Catholic Church, one becomes complicit. One legitimates them. One participates in the furtherance of their diabolical fraud. Refuse to be complicit any longer regardless of comfort. Begin by exploring the related links that I'll provide below this video. There used to be a phrase of the ghetto that became popular in the 90s and into the early 21st century. That phrase was, I'm keeping it real. But you know, most of those people who used that phrase didn't keep it real. It is time to keep it real. It's time to get real. But really, Real.